Hello, all the children from Montessori Center Room. I'm so glad to be connecting with you on YouTube. I hope you and your family are all well, and I'm so glad that we're all doing our part to stay home and be safe by not, <clears throat> excuse me, by not spreading germs, and by making sure that we wash our hands just as many times, if not more, as we do at school. So, something new happened for my family. We got a new dog. Her name is Sadie, and you might see her walking around in the background, or she might come to say hello, I don't know. We'll see. Um, and another thing that's changed recently outside is that it has become spring. And I think you may remember in Classroom Blue and actually in both the classrooms, um, in winter we sang a song. And today I'm going to change that song a little bit. We sang one that was for fall, one that was for winter, and now I changed it to be for spring. So. I'm going to start by using the music that we typically use in our classroom to signal that it's time to clean up. And the reason I wanted to play this is because I know the children, I know you love it because it's so familiar to you. And for parents, I wanted to let you know that you might want to use this song um, to signal to your children that it's time to clean up what they're doing and move on to the next activity. It's um, Canon in D is what we use in both of the classrooms. And so I'll play that now and just do a little bit of the walking um, for memory's sake. And then I'll come back to you all to do um, some songs together. Okay. All right, so Sadie was watching me go around the circle. Um, I hope you've enjoyed listening to that song one more time, and maybe your parents or whoever's caring for you will share that song with you again sometime. Um, so I'd like to sing some of our songs that we know from school with you all today. <clears throat> so in the fall, we sang, Leaves are falling, leaves are falling swirling round and round. Leaves are falling, leaves are falling, floating to the ground. And we would come down. And then when it became winter time, we said, snow is falling, snow is falling, swirling round and round. Snow is falling, snow is falling, winter's coming round. So we can change that song one more time, and I thought of it this morning. There are lots of buds on the trees and buds of flowers and plants growing from beneath the soil and on our trees and coming alive again. So it has something to do with buds will be in the song. And also, I showed you on the Marco Polo, some of you, um, the blossoms that are coming onto the trees, and those blossoms will become fruit. So, um, I would like to show you the new song for spring. 
Buds are sprouting, buds are sprouting, blossoms swirling round. Lo buds are sprouting, buds are sprouting, spring is now around. So that is the newest version for spring. And now I'd like to sing some of those songs that we sang at school and hopefully you will recognize some of them. I think you all know this one. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa. Don't forget Australia. Don't forget Antarctica. These are the seven continents, the continents of the world. All right. I wish I could hear all of your voices. I hope you're singing along at home. I can't wait until we get to sing again together. And let's see. Oh, I think you'll all know this one too. Look around and you will see a family community. We are brothers, we are one. Clap your hands and you will see a family community. We are sisters, we are one. Join your hands and you will see a family community. We are friends, we are one. Ah, oh, feels so good to sing these songs again. I hope you all are enjoying it too. All right, let's see, what else? Ah, something that I remember we sing in the springtime a lot is about frogs. Little baby frogs are being born and we talked about them sitting on a speckled log. Do you all remember that? All right, let's try it together. Five little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Four green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were one more speckled frog, glub, glub. One little speckled frog sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no more speckled frogs, glub, glub. All right, let's see. Another song that I would love to sing with you is the boa constrictor song. So I know some of you might know this, some of you might not. I wanted you to see my toes because that's how this song starts with our toes. So hopefully you can sing along with me at home. Oh, I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor and I don't like it very much. Oh no, oh no. It swallowed my toes, it swallowed my toes. Oh gee, oh. It's up to my knee, it's up to my knee. Oh, fiddle, oh, fiddle. It reached my middle, it reached my middle. Oh, heck, oh, heck. It's up to my neck, it's up to my neck. Oh, dread, oh, dread. It swallowed my oomph. And I can hear all of your voices laughing right now. I know how much you love to laugh with that ending of that song. And we would talk about how there's something special about that song, which is that a lot of those words rhyme. We would talk about how um, 
no and toe rhyme, knee and G rhyme, middle and fiddle rhyme, heck and neck rhyme, and dread and head. That's right, you got it. Those rhyme too. So lots of our songs have rhyming sounds at the end. And this next song that I'd like to sing with you also has some rhyming sounds. Let's listen. It also has five in the song. Five little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Wait, that's not the right tune. Hold on, let me think. Five little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Hmm, still not right. Hmm. Five little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, quack, quack. And four little ducks came running back. I remember the tune now. Five little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, quack. And four little ducks came running back. Four little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, quack, quack. And three little ducks came running back. Three little ducks ran out to play over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, quack, quack. And two little ducks came running back. Two little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, quack, quack. One little duck came running back. Getting fewer and fewer. One little duck went out to play over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, quack, quack. No little ducks came running back. Mama duck said quack, quack, quack. And five little ducks came running back. All right, so let's see if we can think of any words in that song that rhymed. Hmm. Five little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away. Yes, play away. Mama duck said quack, quack, quack. And so many ducks came running quack, back. Those rhyme as well. So I hope you've enjoyed singing some of our songs from school and I miss you all and I can't wait to see you again um, in the near future. All right, stay well.